Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a trying new makeup because I have way too much for my Sephora haul that uh, I just need to put it all together and put it on my face. So some of these are pretty new releases. Some of them are not, it's just new to me. So we're gonna play with the Natasha Denona Pastel Eyeshadow Palette. Let's see if my suspicions are right. I'm gonna put on the Tatcha Silk Sunscreen super intrigued by this, especially because of the price point. The Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, which everyone has been talking about. Now, this one I did use yesterday, and I think I love it, but we're gonna try it again today with the Tatcha Sunscreen, which I didn't do yesterday. Um, that Merit Highlighting Balm, I'm so excited for this. I have high hopes, I hope it works out. Maybe we'll use the new Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes, the Huda Beauty Blush couple of other, of other things. Um, we'll decide what lippy to use. Anyways, so there's plenty to be used here. If you are interested in any of these products and how they work for me, uh, at least first impression, or you just kind of want to chill and get ready together, then just keep on watching. So you guys, it is very early in the morning. It's not as early. It's 6.15. But it's funny because when it's early and I put in my contacts, it's almost like my eyes are just so sensitive to the light. So I'm feeling like the light's a little bit bright right now. I've already done my brows. I have my cup of coffee because again, it's early. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna bring you on in and I think we're gonna start off with eyes. All right, so going in with nothing new, this is my Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, which is everything and more. So just gonna put this down. And I've gotten to where I really don't let this sit. I just kind of like how it looks or how it works, just freshly placed on my eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out real quick. Okay, so I pr eyes are primed. Now I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do on the eyes because as far as the standout shade, I think I wanna use this middle one, which is called Starlet. But I'm trying to figure out, all right, <laughs> It's an orangey shade, what's gonna go with that? And I'm not super crazy about blue in my crease. Blues and greens, I just don't know. So, um, okay, well, I'm gonna start with this. Gosh, this is tough, man. All right, well, I'm gonna start with this pink one called Tool. And honestly, I didn't even do my research to see which ones are those cream to powder formulas, which are my very favorite. I'm sure I'll figure it out if I end up using one. I can't tell, I feel like this kind of feels like one, but anyways, so, but this isn't a review. I'm just gonna use this and uh, again, if you've been with my channel for the last at least few videos, you know I've held off on this one for very good reason, at least for me, because pastels are just notorious for being chalky, ashy, you have to build them five times and here we are. So I'm on like layer four at this point, but that's what I'm gonna do for the crease today. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into this shade called Bora. So there's not like a whole lot of dimension in this palette. I think if you wanted to kind of add dimension, add a deeper shade, um, you would have to supplement a different palette, which a lot of times if you're going for pastel, you're not looking for anything kind of smoky and, you know, grungy. You're just looking for pretty ethereal, that kind of thing. This, okay, this does feel like a cream to powder formula and uh, wow, okay. So I thought that was gonna be way deeper than what it is. Why is it even looking like it's the same shade that I put in my crease? Oh. Okay. So I'm on like layer three. <laughs> All right, well, that helped build it up a little bit. I'm gonna go one more layer, one more. I honestly would definitely supplement if I wanted anything deeper. Um, yeah, I would probably, this maybe would be pretty all over the lid or something and then do something in the crease or go with a lighter one in the crease, do this on the lid, and then maybe a deepest one on the outer portion of the lid because this is exactly why I stay away from pastel palettes at this point is because it takes so much work, so much building. This one's very crumbly. Okay. Listen, we keep it simple here. So we're gonna go ahead and go on to the lid shade, three shades and I'm kind of done. Um, but that's usually what I do for eyeshadow looks. I don't do super complicated. 
I don't have the time and the, <laughs> quite frankly, the energy and the motivation to do a ton of, there's times where I really feel like if I see something on somebody else, I'm like, ooh, I want to try that. But anyways, okay, you go in with that starlit shade right there. Let's see what, is this a pink or an orange? And I put down, I totally forgot to tell you, I put down my Fenty uh, no filter eye primer because I need, I always do a tacky base for any time I'm using like a standout shade. So this is a very lovely shade though. I do have to say, hmm, okay. Not opposed to this. I'm gonna take a small brush. This is too small of a brush, but it's what I had right offhand. <laughs> and just kind of go into the area that I cannot reach with my finger, um, just to kind of add a little bit more in there and not have any bald spots. This is actually a very lovely shade. I'm happy with this shade. I'll go back into that brush and just add a teeny bit more of that Bora shade that is very frustrating to me. <laughs> and just kind of, you know, place some down so that it doesn't look harsh there where I placed the other shade. I really like that shade. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do the other eye, probably add some liner. Be right back. Okay guys, the eyes are done <laughs> with lashes and liner. So now let's move into the silk sunscreen. Let's see what this bad boy is all about. I am huge on the silk canvas primer, both the balm and the liquid. I do prefer the liquid. So satisfying to take off that little strip. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, we'll see We'll see what this one does. I think this one has like a little bit of a, oh, I think you're supposed to shake it. Are you? Dang. Oh yeah, shake well. Okay, cool. So let's shake this up. I hear like the, the little thingies in there, the beads or whatever. So I think this is supposed to, I don't know, even out your skin tone. I don't know where I read that when I, ah! okay, except that it's coming out already and like, I guess because when you shake it, anyways, all right, <laughs> let's do this because you guys know, oh, all right, this is, wow, super liquidy, <laughs> um, ooh, this feels nice, it feels very creamy, like it legit feels like I am putting a face lotion on my face, um, ooh, Okay, hold on, I need to grab my mirror so that I can see what I'm looking at because I feel like it looks, hey. So, it's definitely not as glowy as my Super Goop and you guys know how I feel about Super Goop. That one is like my all time fave. Ooh, but oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand so I can hold the mirror in the other. <laughs> um. As far as evening out skin tone, I don't know that I see that. Um, but anyways, sometimes I will say when I'm doing a video, especially when I haven't used something before, sometimes it's really hard for me to kind of just see what's happening, get up close and personal because I'm so focused on filming that like, you know, I can't be like, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> so again, that's why first impressions for me are a lot of times very hit or miss. But I gotta say, I love how moisturizing this feels. But it is very, very liquidy, and just a minute ago, it was bubbling up out of the top again. So I don't know if that's gonna be an issue or not. We'll have to see. But this is a very, very, it's Tatcha, so it's a very expensive sunscreen. <laughs> and you get 1.7 fluid ounces. So I can tell you it's not gonna be a sunscreen I use on the daily, just because I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna wanna go through it that fast. Um, but yeah, anyway, so now let's move into the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I, you do have to shake this as well. I used this yesterday and was quite frankly blown away with how much I loved it. So let's go ahead and I love the bottle. I, I feel like there's a reason that she's got this here. I know with the foundation, the reason the little, um, knob looking thing on the top is so, um, for certain... <laughs> for certain folks, and I don't remember what the condition is, anyways, who have trouble opening regular bottles, like that little knob helps. So I feel like this has some sort of significance. I, again, don't come for me. I didn't do any kind of research on it. I just knew I wanted it because I love anything Rare Beauty. Listen, I feel like 
if there's one thing she knows how to do, it is makeup. So, okay. This is, I, I use a brush because obviously this is a tinted moisturizer. So it's a lot less coverage. It's not meant to be heavy or anything. And I don't want a sponge soaking up half of that. So um, I do, or I did use a brush yesterday, obviously using a brush again today. And I did, I didn't really layer. I really went in with a little bit added product yesterday with those places on my face that I felt needed a tiny bit more, but it wasn't anything super significant. So here's what it looks like with just that one layer and that's where I'm gonna leave it. I love it. Listen, for someone like me who loves a good glazed donut kind of look, this is right up my alley. So I just realized I forgot to snag a concealer. I don't have a new concealer. Let me grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's keep it consistent. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Concealer, which is quite frankly, one of my favorites. Um, so I'm just gonna place this down. Usually I let it sit for, I don't know, honestly a good minute or so because it is a lighter weight concealer <clears throat> see this is what I mean these little thingies I know they have a purpose and I don't remember I don't remember what that is for or who it's for who it's um really special for so okay so I'm just gonna let this do I want to let it set just we're gonna go in okay so I'm just using the oh, <laughs> rare beauty foundation brush which is one of my favorite brushes of life. I probably should get a backup because knowing me, once I like something, it'll be discontinued. They won't make it anymore. That, you know, that never ending story. I'm sure y'all have the same sentiments um, about stuff as well. So just going to place this down. And this concealer goes really, really well with this tinted moisturizer, I think, because they're both just so lightweight that it just, oops. Um, they just go well together. So, can you see, like, obviously you can still see my pores. This is not, like, covering pores or anything, but I didn't expect it to. But this tinted moisturizer went over really, really well on that sunscreen, which is nice. And because that sunscreen was so rich and creamy, and this tinted moisturizer has that kind of creamy aspect um, I definitely feel very like hydrated. Okay. So I don't have a new powder. I'm just going to set just a little bit with the Huda Easy Bake Cherry Blossom Powder. I'm just going to add a little bit to my under eyes and then we'll just add a little bit of powder to the face. Not a whole lot. Um, I'm going to use my beauty blender, not sponge, um, the little poof. I never remember what it's called. People ask me, um, someone had said it was discontinued, and I don't think it is. I think it is still available. Anyways. Okay, so that's perfect. And this, just overall, these complexion products, they set really, really nicely. Um, so that being said, I'm just going to add a little bit of powder to the face. Again, nothing new. This is the Dior No Powder Powder, whatever that was called. Okay, question. Those of y'all who have this, do you wash it? Do you throw it in the wash? Do you put it in a little delicates bag and throw it in the wash? Let me know because I think mine is like needing washing at this point. So I'm just gonna put like literally the lightest bit because I love the finish of this tinted moisturizer. And so I'm not looking to really like mattify or anything. I just want to kind of just settle it down a little bit if you know what I mean. And that is about all I am going to do. So again, nothing new, no new product there. Just need to get that taken care of. And then I'm going to use the Kosas bronzer because I don't, <laughs> I don't have a new bronzer. There's a lot of new things. A lot of things I don't have new. There's a hair or something. Okay. This bronzer I find a little more difficult to work with. It's like it almost develops hard pan very, very quickly. And I've had to kind of, can you see where I've like scratched off a little bit? but it's very beautiful because it's got that luminosity and it's not super harsh. So you can build it up and, um, and it looks so natural and lovely. So 
adds just the slightest bit of like bronze or warmth or whatever you want to call it. Let's move into something I'm super excited about, and that is the Huda Cheeky Tint Blush Stick. I wasn't sure if I was going to use this or the Item Beauty, but I'm just, I have not used these Huda ones, and I'm like super intrigued. So excited. Okay. I'm going to use Peachy, Perky Peach today. It's the one I chose because I figured that the eyes would look very colorful, and I didn't want to add like more to that. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush this is specifically for it's the insta pop cheek brush it's specific for cream products you can use it for powder too but so i just grabbed a little what seriously is it that glowy well it may be a combination of the um cheek tint and the uh um uh, can't even talk tinted moisturizer but oh my gosh, I love this so much. Okay, this is a total win. I would have to say so far, this is my favorite thing from my haul. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. This looks, this is, this is my, this is me. This is, this has my name written all over it. Love. Okay. Lastly, I was going to use the Merit Balm, but I'm actually going to use the Pillow Talk Multi-Glow, the new one that she came out with. So I picked mine up in store. It was broke. So I, there's one store that has some left that I'm going to have to see if they have any to exchange. <laughs> okay, so what I will tell you is that there is a section of this highlight that is very sparkly. So if you don't like, um, if you don't like glitter, then I don't know. The rest seem to be pretty just satiny. That's lovely. Um, so let's try this out. I am just, I'm not going to go in like individually. I'm literally just going to kind <clears> of <throat> swirl in there and see what happens. This is the one meant for cooler complexions but it's the lighter of the two and that's the reason I chose it the other one seemed a little too warm huh. okay yeah it's definitely a cooler toned um product so mm. still beautiful though yeah that's really lovely it's lovely but it is mm, it's very cool toned So for someone like, like me that likes something very glowy, hold on, I'm going to go back in with my blush brush and just kind of, I <clears throat> forgot to do the highlight first. So for someone like me who loves like super intense, I feel like this does come across very intense. Spread that out a little better. <laughs> um, But it is very icy. The cool tone one is, it's cool toned. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. It's beautiful. I do believe I really like it. I think I'm going to have to use it a couple more times. Obviously, I want to see if I can get it exchanged out. It's a very soft powder, so I can see why it's easily breakable. But that being said, let's just go ahead and go into um, a lip color. I think based on what I bought, I think I'm just going to... I don't know which one to use. <laughs> Definitely not that one. Okay, I feel like we're just going to use this bad boy right here. 
Um, the other lip products I bought are also very pink, so I don't know that they would go with this look. So for reference, this is in the shade 02 Nothing But Nude. And I think it's the nude out of these that I'm going to like the best. It's definitely lighter. And I've got like lip balm on my lips, which is going to make it harder to apply. So this was actually, <laughs> this is actually a little bit deeper than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know. I thought it was going to be even a more a nude nude, not to say this isn't nude, but and not full on concealer lips, but I thought it was going to be in that direction. I don't know. Okay. Well, definitely not what I was expecting, but this is the final look, you guys. So this is what we are work <laughs> working with based on what we picked up or what I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. So let me kind of take you on out a little bit and I'll give you some thoughts on this. Granted, first impressions for me are super hit or miss. I mean, it takes a couple of times most of the time to really determine if you're going to like something or not. But based on today, let me tell you what I think. Okay, so real quick, the palette is kind of what I expected. I think I had that little piece of hope that it was going to be a little bit elevated for what I thought it was going to be. And honestly, it just kind of was what I thought. <laughs> so, I mean, quite frankly, this Bora shade looks so used and abused and I've only used this palette once. Like, it's got chunks out of it. And I know it's because I was going in with a blending brush and I think it's that cream to powder formula. However, I went in so many times trying to build this shade up that literally this shade looks so sad. So on this eye, I tried to kind of use my finger to get a little bit more pigmentation to kind of deepen it up. It still didn't do anything. So anyways, there's that. But I do really like this shade that we used in the middle. So I'm thinking the standout shades are probably going to be what I use most if I want to deepen anything up. Like I said, I'm going to supplement a different palette. I think there's a couple of shades from here in here from the Tropic palette. I want to say it's Mint Frost and Limoncello which I have the Tropic palette. So there is that. But anyways, so glad this was a midi palette and not a $129 palette because if it was the large palette, I probably would return it. Anyways, so that's that. Now going into the, let's see, trying to find the stuff on this table. The silk sunscreen, I don't know. First use, I'm like, I think I'm going to really, really like it. Maybe even love it. What only holds me back is the price point because I see myself going through this quickly and I kind of don't want to pay $60 a pop for my sunscreen, especially when my super goop, the big bottle is $58 for like 17 ounces. And this is 1.7 ounces. Uh, decimals in the wrong spot on this one. So that being said, I it's Tatcha. I think it does live up to the hype based on very first use. I could actually see myself using that and putting on a little bit of blush, highlight, mascara, and going out the door if I'm like on a super lazy day. Anyways, so this Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer I think is going to be at this point my favorite of any kind of tinted moisturizer I have in my collection. No surprise there. I love the brand. Had very high expectations, but thankfully a lot of times when you go in with high expectations, you set yourself up for failure because nothing can meet that. This did. I love this <laughs> so, so much. My shade was 26W. If you share my same skin tone, I am 210N in the foundation and they did not steer me wrong. This was, and I kind of struggled with it. Online, it looks deeper. It is not that deep. It is absolutely lovely. It's perfect for my skin tone. Um, Let's see the, oh gosh. Do I even need to give this any kind of, you know, talk through? Do I need to tell you what I think of this? So far, my favorite purchase from the sale is this Huda Cheeky Tint. The glow that comes from this is absolutely stunning. I can't wait to put the other shades to use now, but Perky Peach, a definite score. If you've been on the fence, if you like a glowy type of blush, look no further. This is it. I'm so, so happy. Okay, and then I think this, oh, we've got the multi-glow. So, I look pretty darn glowy. I'm just going to say that. It's beautiful. I'm holding it like this because it's broken. <laughs> so this is absolutely stunning. Um, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, do you want to pay that much for a highlight? Mm. 
probably have something like this in your collection. One of you already told me that. So um, yeah, you probably do. It is definitely very glowy. It's it's beautiful. Honestly, I, I think I would probably even look into the warmer one, um, but it is very icy. I will say that it's more icy than I expected it to be. There's one little sliver in here that has like sparkle. So those of you who don't care for that, you got to know that. And um, yeah, but it's, it's, it's very beautiful. I'm happy with it. And then lastly, this lip pencil, it's pretty. I thought it was going to be a lighter shade. Don't get me wrong. I love the formula. That's why I bought more of these, but I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter. <laughs> Anyways, um, but that being said, that's it. That's the end of today's trying new makeup. We kind of went through a lot there. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful. More to come on all of my Sephora VIB sale haul products because I will do a follow-up video so that you know how each product really worked for me once I have a chance to dive in. Use them at least a couple, two, three times, get a feel for them and let you know how they worked for me in case maybe you want to add them to your wish list in the future. So that being said, I just want to leave you um, with a couple of quick things. First off, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps so, so much. And I hate asking, but I just want to remind you, <laughs> if you are new, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to see you again here on this channel and just kind of chill and play with new makeup with you again in the future. And before I let you go, today's verse of the day comes from Psalm 103, and it says, Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture absolutely beautiful. I just want to encourage you if you're feeling down in the dumps, if you feel a low self-worth, a low self-esteem, whatever the case may be, you were created in God's image. You are absolutely beautiful. You are unique. There is no one in this world like you. Your fingerprint is all your own. And I just want to tell you that you are so very loved. I love you even though I don't know you, but Jesus loves you so much more in like an amount that I could not even put into words. Alrighty, my friends, thank you again for stopping by, for spending some time with me. I will see you in the next video. So until then, stay safe and stay well. <laughs> Bye, friends.